So Italian cypress is that tall upright tree which can be used for privacy or it's just decoration like I'm going to do with the ones I'm growing to replace the olives in these nice pots once they're transplanted into bigger pots so um, yeah it's got many uses doesn't require much pruning at all if any you know you might just get the odd branch which might come out the side which you might just want to snip off apart from that it's just a tree that you can put in the ground and leave so i'm going to be showing you how to grow this from seed it isn't the easiest of methods it's still very easy but you could literally put these seeds in the ground and hope for a few to grow but the method i'm going to be showing you um, will hopefully give you the most success with your italian cypress tree growing so if you have ordered your seeds um, off the internet or you've just brought a pack to these seeds that's fine but so if you have collected some you know the seeds will look something like that and you know you'll just break them out with like a cone thing like that that's opened up by itself but if they're closed you can just break it in half and a few seeds will come out the best time to collect them is you know just when they're turning brown so not when they're green um, but not when all the seeds have come out so you've just got to get it at that right time but if not there's pl plenty of places that will sell them so the next step is to put them in the fridge just basically to give them a dormancy period so this is called stratification i really cannot say that word but basically how i'm shown on screen go to use the paper towel method just put them in paper towel um, just so it's moist but not wet just squeeze a little bit of water out and yeah it should be fine you can do this uh, put them in a tub of soil but some people probably don't want soil in their fridge or you know i just find the paper towel method is a lot easier just leave them in there for 30 days check them about every week or so just to make sure they're not going moldy if they are just transfer the seeds onto a new paper towel and that should be fine so after 30 days just open it up and check how they have done some of them might sprout um, so that's a bonus if they do i've had that before with um, spruce seeds and other seeds you know you'll get the odd one that will want to sprout so you know gotta try and get these out of the tissue so once you've got them out you know they're pretty much ready to put in some compost you know you can put perlite in it's just some normal multi-purpose compost put some grit or something in if you really want to um, but as long as you don't let them get too wet or too dry you know it should be fine just using normal multi-purpose compost don't use like garden soil like normal earth um, because that will hold too much moisture and won't drain well and you know it will be just make a mess of the seeds so yeah, we're going to just put them in, these in some multi-purpose compost. So I'm going to be using these rubber seed cells. You know, they're not very big, but they'll make some nice little plug plants that we can transplant once these have grown. You can use a tray or a normal pot or anything. I just like to use some plug plants for these. Um, so I'll leave a link to that video in the description. If you want more uh, information on these rubber, natural rubber seed cells. So yeah, I'm just going to fill it with multi-purpose compost you know partially sieved you know as long as there's not any big lumps in there you know just fill the cells up so now i'm just going to water these um i know this sounds seems a bit um, unnecessary to water before you put the seeds in well this is just so as you can see some of the loose soil has washed out and that might have been the seeds so if we watered it when the seeds were in there so you know it's just best to give it a water before you put the seeds in so putting the seeds in is just as simple as placing them on the top and pushing them down anywhere between five millimeters and 20 millimeters um, so you can put a little bit more soil on the top if you need to so depths aren't precise it's just a guidance 
So half a centimetre to two centimetres is fine. I'm just going to do one per cell, so that should be fine, like so. Just put a bit more soil on top of there and compact that down well. So now they are planted, just put them in a greenhouse, windowsill, or anything like that. And as soon as they start to sprout, you can just put these outside. Just make sure um, if you are doing it in winter, give them some protection. I'd say you can do it any time of the year, but just make sure they are, you know, quite strong if you do put them out in the cold. So once you have grown your little seedlings, you know, they should look something like um, the picture I will put on screen. Um, so yeah, that's what they'll look like. And once they start to grow, if you want to just stake them with a cane or something, just to, you know, guard them as they grow straight. And once you go to plant them outside in the ground, just make sure the soil is fertile and, you know, good for drainage. So if it's heavy clay, don't worry too much, but you know, just dig a few bits of gravel, sand, you know, perlite or anything like that in and um, just keep them weed free and they'll sh they should grow. So yeah, just make sure they drain and that they don't become waterlogged. So then they rot. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope it helped. And if so, remember to click that like button and press subscribe with notifications on so you get notified every time I upload a new video. So please let me know if you have any questions on this, if you need any help or guidance. This will work for most cypress uh, varieties and many other tree species. It's just the dormancy period. So I thought I'd do this video as there's not that many clear videos on how to do this. So I just thought I'd do this quick little video to help some of you out. And apart from that, click up here to watch my latest video and just click below it to watch our grafting updates so yeah apart from that thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you all in the next one so bye bye everybody